morning. So here I have made some goop. Well, I call it goop. And it's all it is is it's cornstarch with food coloring and water. So here's some blue goo. Hi, Cleo. So this is really cool. So if you pick it up really fast, you can pick it up in a clump, but then it melts in your hand. Oh, yeah, Cleo. <laughs> <laughs> and it just kind of melts in your hand. Look at that. Cleo so out. cool. So that's the blue one, light blue. And then here's the red one. See, you just grab it in a clump. You can grab eight. You can grab it in a clump and then it melts. See it melting in your hand? Cool. So I thought we could mix colors today. We have light blue, we have red, and we have yellow. So does anybody remember what color red and yellow make? Don't answer. <laughs> Okay, so if you said, well, let's try. Let's see if you're right, okay? Well, actually, we'll start with the yellow first. And what I'll do is I'll put it on the table. Oh, this yellow's really thick. Watch this one. This is cool. So if you pick it up in a clump, and you can watch it melt. See that? When you pick it up really fast in a clump, it becomes a solid. And then it melts into more of a liquid. So I'm gonna put some, actually what I'll do is I'll add the red and maybe into this yellow, okay? So I'll pick up some of the red. And we'll put it in the yellow. Does anybody have any ideas yet what color this is gonna make? If you do, say it out loud in case your parents are there and they can hear you. If you don't know yet, you will know in a minute. Watch. Here we go, watch. Remember, I'm putting red and yellow together and we're mixing it up. Now, it's kind of hard for me to mix it. That's why it's taking a minute because it becomes a solid when you try to mix it. You have to mix it slow for it to kind of stay a liquid. Anybody have any ideas what color it's turning yet? Red and yellow make orange. That's right. Red and yellow make orange, orange, orange. Red and yellow make orange. That's how you make a new color. Yay. So you don't have to buy orange paint. You can make orange paint by mixing red and yellow. All right, does anybody remember what red and blue make? Take a little guess. Try and guess before I mix it. Tell a parent if you can, if they're not busy. Okay, let's mix the red and the blue and we'll see what color they make. Remember this, if you pick it, see how it looks liquidy in the bowl? But you can try and pick it up and it becomes a little bit, this isn't as solid as the yellow was, but it kind of becomes a solid. This one I made a little looser. We're gonna mix it in the blue. Look at it just come off of my hands. Isn't that cool? Let's do this. Well, I don't know if I wanna do this actually. I don't know if it'll pour. There we go, I'll just pour it in a little bit. You tell me, what color is red and blue going to make? Oh, that looks pretty. That almost looks like a flower. Do you see that, guys? Okay, I'm gonna slowly mix it. Red and blue make, when you know, tell a parent. Now this is a lighter blue. Usually I use a darker blue, but it still should work. Whoa, look how pretty that looks. You can kind of start seeing it. It's kind of making maybe sort of two different colors. What color can you see in there? Whoops, I'm dripping it all over. That's okay though. 
It's if you said purple, or even if you said pink, because it's kind of a really light purple, almost looks like a pink too. So you can either say purple or pink, because light blue and a lighter purple would probably make a pinky color. But it makes red and blue makes purple. Look at that, that's really loose though. If you add more cornstarch, it gets thicker. But it feels really cool. So if you have cornstarch at home, and if it's okay with mommy and daddy, you can put it in a bowl. I like to sometimes put it on the table and just play with it because you can kind of see when you move it, how it gets thick, but then it goes liquidy. Watch this orange, orangey, reddy, yellow. <laughs> see, it goes on thick. And this is, you can make a process art with this. Maybe you could put it on a pan, a cookie sheet or a pan instead of on your table, but it does wash up nice. It just takes a little soap and water. Ooh, look at that mixing together. Isn't that pretty? You gotta just move it around a little bit and mix it together. See, if you move it fast, it becomes hard. And then that's when if you have a bag nearby, you can pick it up and put it in the garbage and then just use a cloth, a soapy cloth, and you can wash it up, it's easy. But see, look how pretty that looks, that purple and orange mixed in together. Should we put a little bit more? I wonder if I can do a letter of somebody's name. Let's try. Let's do A. Oh, it's kind of cracking all up. There we go. Ah, it's melting back too fast. See it melting back? Look, it's closing in. Woo! Little hole. Whoa, did you see that? Let's make a big circle. See what happens. There. Watch the circle disappear. It's disappearing. Bye, circle. See how it's getting smaller and smaller? Maybe if I put a little bit more just around it like this, it'll melt into it a bit. There it goes. There. How pretty are all these colors mixed together, right, eh, guys? Can make some art. It's kind of like painting, but with goop. We should do this when everybody comes back to Jen's house. Paint with goop. So pretty. Thank you for watching, everybody. So yellow and red make orange, and red and blue make purple. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye. Love you.